We had a big reaction to our story last week on a bracelet said to give anyone who wears it power and balance. The distributor's website went into meltdown. Others felt it was no more than a circus tent magician's trick. So, who's right? Frank Pangallo has been back for another look and conclusive tests, and here's what he found. OK, here we go. So I'm going to press. Now, I'm putting a fair degree, in fact, I'll put two hands and I will do everything I can to push you straight down. Is it a mind-blowing scientific marvel? That was... that was unbelievable. <laughs> or merely the mind playing games with reality? It just sounds like a lot of science words were put into a hat and they were brought out and, and used to uh, promote something. Promoters of the Power Balance bracelet claim it can do amazing things to your body when you're wearing one. Things that defy logic or science can increase strength, balance, stability and core power so, and flexibility as well. So there's a lot of things it can actually do. And the secret is supposed to be locked up in that hologram, says Tom O'Dowd, whose company sells them for $60 in Australia. It's a frequency that's been embedded in the MLR technology in the, in the hologram. What it does, it reacts with the electrical field of, of your body. That's plain nonsense, according to Richard Saunders from the Australian Skeptics Society. No, I'm not convinced. Not yet. I mean, I can be convinced. We'll see what, what happens. With Richard looking on, we asked Tom to put the claims to a blind test using six volunteers. More on that shortly. What is an in dispute is the effect it's had on almost all the people who've tried it, like 80-year-old Joyce Washington. I don't know that it gives more energy, but it seems to make one more alert. Melbourne chiropractor Dr Matt Bateman has tried it on hundreds of his patients, even staking his reputation on it. Hold. Now, do you feel stronger? OK, it's, I'm putting a lot more pressure in there. There's only so much you can fake. I'm not faking 500% uh, increased strength and stability, is, which is what I felt when I first did the test. I can't fake that. Dr Bateman then demonstrated it on one of our sceptical reporters, Jonathan Creek. Can, can you sneak any more out of that? About there? Yeah. I'm just going to bring it now. I'll put it on your forehead just for something different. Can you go any further? Whoa. I'd say again, another two or three inches. We take that away again, it'll be harder for you to hold and sustain. That's a freak. So on to our tests. Tom carried out his usual balance and strength routines using a card embedded with that hologram, then with the bracelet. All six reported a positive reaction, that is, when they could see it. Yeah, that was working all right on you. OK. Feel the difference? <laughs> Richard thinks it might have more to do with physics or the angles which Tom is exerting his force. It's actually you're controlling whether the person is weak or strong, not, not the pendant. Next, a series of blind tests. I randomly placed six cards in their pockets. Only one, the fifth in line, had the card with a hologram. It was up to Tom to detect who had it. Well, I'm going to take a real stab at it. And <laughs> I'm going to say, you got it. <laughs> so let's have a look in your pockets. OK. <laughs> ah, well, there you go. Mm -hmm. yeah. no, I don't have it. I came here a little bit sceptical and I'm still a little bit sceptical. Who's got the card? There we go. You've you got, the got it. Card after yeah, you got it. We did the test again and still Tom lucked out. OK. All right. <laughs> well, my guess is John. <laughs> it's you this time. There you go. And the people who sincerely had it were weak. So that would show that the hologram has no effect on, on anybody's strength. Then the same blind and random experiment using the bracelets. Tom bombed again. When Tom knew who had a hologram, we got positive or negative results 100% of the time. As soon as Tom didn't know where the hologram was, then I'm afraid it was uh, only failure. So I suspect it was um, Tom, even if he didn't realise it, altering the tests. Mind over matter, perhaps. The human brain is a powerful tool capable of extraordinary things, says Professor David Powers, who runs the Artificial Intelligence Unit at Flinders University. If you tell a person that it's going to do something and then you show it to a person, uh, you, what you can find is, first of all, a placebo effect, which means that whatever you say, uh, they, uh, to the extent that they believe it, it will happen. The power of positive thinking. Take American Nick Harris. This week, he turned Superman when he lifted a car off a six-year-old girl. 
He tried to do it again a few times since, without success. It'd be very hard for me to fool that many people and people that I haven't even come in contact with who bought this product and they've got it out there and they've tried it on themselves and they've tried it on their friends and they've done the tests and they've devised their own tests and they come up with the conclusion that it works. Professor Powers would like to do more research on the placebo effect of the power bracelet. While Richard Saunders and his sceptics maintain it's up there with snake oil. Regardless of all that, one thing it will do is make you the life of a party. If it's a trick, it's a bloody good one. It's probably worth the $60 that you pay for the band. <laughs> there you go. Frank Pangello was our reporter. And if you have a point of view or any evidence about the bracelet, let us know on our website. We'll have more after this.